just doing some jobs on the Land Rover. We've got the holes filled in now. They're full of uh, aluminium mesh and uh, they're filled. Back's painted matte black for the time being. It looked rubbish gloss, so we just painted it matte black for the time being. Two holes there. Don't know, I'm not sure what they're from, actually, don't, those two holes. Then a hole at the top there, and it just makes the whole back feel a bit filled. So it's all a bit solid, so that's pretty good. And then round to the front, you know, I've had some wing bits to do around the wheel arch, so they've been filled. A little bit of sanding with, I think, 180. Uh, I'll have to do them a little bit, uh, a little bit sharper. And then this morning, we put the front bumper on. So it's got a nice brand new front bumper with the little bumperettes, which are pretty good. They fit all right. And that's just four bolts. These four bolts here. So you can see two there and two there. They're quite easy to go on. They've got captive nuts on the bottom. They're, they're actually hard to get in because I've got this plumbing guard on there. So they're quite hard to get in, uh, you know, to hold on to and stuff. And they don't go down straight away, but anyway, it's got a new bumper on now, so we're quite chuffed about that. Then the next job we're using, well, a file came today, the planer, sorry. So the body plane came today. That's quite a big old job. Quite a big, uh, <laughs> quite a good tool, that one. Uh, it's got 40 grit on at the moment. And what I'm doing, where people have stood to change the spare wheel in the old days, probably, is I'm, I'm flattening those two, two sides down. So that side's getting flattened, and then this side's getting flattened as well. Uh, just to make it nice and straight for the you know the gloss paint because if you have a wavy bond it looks a bit rubbish but you have to use a big long sander you can't use your da on this uh, because you'll just get waves all over it because it's not long enough so uh, and this wings had a, a couple of little etch marks that we noticed when we were sanding down this is now down to 400 which is pretty good that's nice and smooth you notice a dent in or oh, a dent in there and a dent there and a dent there how oh, it's just you notice them as you're going around it's a bit ridiculous so some more etching down there there's a little bit to do here so we've got to dig that uh, white oxidization out and then do that a uh, couple of little bits of oxidization we've just filled in there dug them out and filled in there as well and another, there's another dent here um so there's <laughs> still dent this is kind of uh we're in sort of hour 40 of this and uh you know we're still still filling this filling the body in which is quite uh it's quite a lot of work I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone who's who's um, going to take it on, really. Unless you know a bit about landers or you love them or something, but that's quite a bit of work. So I'm going to crack on with doing these, uh, the, the fronts of the bonnet, you know, the two lines. Uh, get them as straight as I can. I'm, I haven't got any um, uh, guide paint, so I'm not sure if I can get them exactly flat. But what you do, what you do after, well, that's just had filler on it, so that's actually still a tiny bit wet. I can still sand it there because it's only a little bit wet, but this one's quite dry. So you can see here on this bit here is a low spot there because you can see it's a little bit darker. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but that's a little bit darker so that the plane's not touching it. So when you put the plane on, it's kind of touching that bit there and sanding and touching this bit here, but not touching this bit. So that needs more filler because that's a low spot. Uh, and again, I'll just take some more out of here. So that's see another low spot. It's actually covered in... Oh, that's a low spot there, look. So we've got four or five lines not being touched by the plane. So the plane's sitting on there, scrubbing away like that, and it's not touching the, these low spots here. Those are the one, two, three, four. So you can see that there's four low spots there. So that needs some more filler in there. And then I think, oh, and there's a bit here, look. You can see there's a bit here of low spot there. I mean, it's covered in powder at the moment, so I'm hoping you can see it. Now that I haven't touched that yet, that's still just normal filler. So what I've done just in the last five or 10 minutes is just taken down that edge just on all my edges all right and I'll use that as a guide scrolling over, in fact I'll show you scrolling over like this to meet the other edge to meet that edge so I'll scroll over and it'll hopefully get rid of some of my low spots a little bit also I'm going to do this with two hands when I'm actually doing it but it'll show because I've gone up and to start with I've gone up and down and that's giving me low spots so I'm actually just going across and see where see where my low spots don't meet don't meet the plane. Just drop that there. So you can see it's still low there. I wonder if a wet rag would do this. Let's use a wet rag. See if that'll do. Trying to get need electric, of course. That'll be a bit of a bit of a bugger. Right, so just use this rag and see if you can see where the low spots are without the powder there. So that's just a wet rag. 
Now, you can't, you've got to dry it really, because this is porous stuff. But you can see now I've got lumps there. You can see them a little bit better now. I've got lumps there, I've got a lump there. It's not, oh no, that has been touched. That's just dirt on there. So now when it dries, or when I dry it, I can put some filler in this bit here, because that's obviously not being touched by the planes. That's a low spot, definitely. This is definitely a low spot. Wasn't being touched. That could be, I'll see that in a second when I start doing it. But you see, the, the filler, I mean, it thins down. This is less than, I don't know. I don't know what the distance is, but it's a tiny amount of filler, really. It's only a, a kind of a, you know, it's only a teacup on the whole blooming, whole bonnet, really. So there's a tiny amount of filler. So anyone anyway, to crack on sanding that, see if I can get it flat. Then I'll show you in the next video.